Hi everyone! In this video I'm excited to introduce a powerful new feature from Cubic – Outsourced Computations. With this update you can now use Cubic to mine top coins like Monero or rent out its massive computing power to companies that need high performance processing. It's a big leap forward in both utility and monetization. This feature has been in development for a long time because the Cubic team is committed to making it fully decentralized, entirely on-chain and the part of the core Cubic protocol. And today I'm excited to announce it's finally live. Outsourced computations and specifically Monero mining are the real-world proof of Cubic's useful proof-of-work design. Until now it was just a concept, but today we're seeing it in action. And this means that Cubic is now, one, capable of scaling up compute power to train its AI, AI Garth. Two, ready to outsource and offer its massive computing resources to businesses. And three, more attractive than ever to miners and validators, fueling the future growth. Let's break that down. The outsourced computations feature is built on the same foundation as the original useful proof of work, but it's been re-engineered to make it adaptable for external use. In other words, it can now provide computing power to the outside entities. This proves that the original concept works exactly as intended, even if Cubic's AI remains behind the curtain for now. At one point, Cubic was ranked as one of the world's most powerful supercomputers, based on its total cumulative mining power. Its position in global rankings fluctuates with the price and miner activity. Even today, Cubic comfortably holds the number two spot, delivering an impressive 817 petaflops of computing power. So why does this matter? The first life test of the outsourced computations feature involves mining Monero, selling it on the open market, using the proceeds to buy Cubic, and then burning those Cubic coins to reduce the circulating supply. This doesn't just reduce the supply. It also helps drive up the price of Cubic, making it more attractive to miners. But beyond price, popularity brings something even more powerful. More miners, more nodes, and more validators. As Cubic grows, it becomes increasingly decentralized and globally distributed. And most importantly, it gains the compute power needed to train its in-house AI, AI Garth. So what could we expect when it comes to Cubic buybacks and burns? At first, it will start gradually. Since my last Monero video, the Cubic protocol has become more GPU friendly, and most miners have switched from CPUs to GPUs. But that's about to change. As the protocol shifts back to being more CPU optimized, we'll start seeing much larger numbers, likely surpassing my previous projections. Let's not overlook an important update. Starting today, outsourced computations are officially part of the validation process. To earn top rewards, validators must now submit their share of outsourced work, specifically for Monero mining. And remember, validators are the ones running all the pools across Cubic Network. If you are not yet familiar with how useful proof of work ties into Cubic's consensus and reward mechanisms, make sure you check out the complete technical walkthrough linked below. Congratulations to the entire Cubic community! This is the major step forward. More miners, greater decentralization, organic growth, and stronger price momentum. Huge thanks to the Cubic developers, pool operators, and of course CFB for making this happen. I am RetroDrive. Please subscribe to me on X and on YouTube as it helps me to produce more content for you. Till next time!